inspirational woman has filled my world with bright colours and rekindled my love of painting. This week I'm going to be exploring the incredible and inspiring life of Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is one of the most recognisable Mexican artists from history. She painted over 200 bold, bright and beautiful artworks which have been celebrated for the passion, the pain and the vibrancy of colour within each stroke of the paintbrush. Frida's story is fascinating and each of her artworks captures her incredible life and celebrates her Mexican roots. Let's find out more. Frida was born July 6, 1907, in one of the oldest neighbourhoods in Mexico City. As a child, she suffered from polio, which left one of her legs withered, which caused her to limp. A lengthy recovery isolated her from playing with other children from her neighbourhood, some of which began to bully her. But Frida, she was a determined child with ambition. She wanted to become a doctor and she followed those dreams and studied medicine. However, in 1925, tragedy struck. When she was 18 years old, she was in a serious bus accident and she suffered multiple fractures, which left her bed ridden for months, cocooned in a body cast. Her dreams shattered, Frida turned to painting. Her mother made her an easel that hung over the bed so that she could paint while recovering lying down. Frida started to paint the things that were around her. Her feelings went into her paintings and she started to paint self-portraits. And this is where her legacy began. Frida is best remembered for her self-portraits. She has a captivating presence in her artworks. Her famous monobrow makes her instantly recognisable, a feature she was most proud of. I'm drawn to this self-portrait by Frida called Self-Portrait with Thorn, Necklace and Hummingbird, as it feels as though it has much to say. Frida's paintings are often studied to uncover their stories and rich symbolism. Everyone can see or experience something different through art. In this painting of Frida, I see a fierce cat defending her on her shoulder, a gentle monkey grooming her on the other shoulder, pure white butterflies resting on the red ribbon binding her hair, a colourless hummingbird resting on her chest, her thorn necklace digging into her skin, and Frida's expression? Defiance, dignity, pain and love. She also wore traditional Tijuana clothing, a traditional dress reflecting her admiration for artisan traditions and her cultural identity to her mother's childhood home. The clothing of the Tijuanas is known as the trademark of the most independent and proud indigenous women in all of Mexico. Mexico has a rich history and cultural heritage spanning back centuries, but it was nearly lost due to wars and colonialism. But it was in Frida's lifetime that the Mexican Cultural Revolution began and Mexicans' heritage was celebrated. I must fight with all of my strength so that the little positive things that my health allows me to do might be pointed towards helping the revolution, the only real reason for living. Frida's paintings explored questions of identity, post-colonialism, gender, class and race of Mexican society. Her paintings' narratives mixed realism with fantasy. Here is another example of Frida's love of symbolism in her painting, Roots. 
She looks like a fallen tree, vines and roots sprouting from her torso, covering and feeding the barren ground. Her damaged body is a thriving plant rooted in Mexican soil. In 2006, this portrait was sold for $5,616,000. Rumours are that it was purchased by the pop artist Madonna. She painted this portrait in 1932. Here she stands on the borderline between Mexico and the United States, clearly showing her impressions of the vast difference between her homeland and her country's neighbour. The bus shows people of different classes of Mexican society sitting side by side. Some see here a representation of the imbalance and equality of wealth. This work is titled Still Life with Parrots and Flag. Frida has painted a mound of fruit with a cheeky looking parrot native to Mexico. It is perched above the Mexican flag, eyeing up the delicious and colorful feast. I was a child who went about in a world of colors. In 1928, she met the famous muralist Diego Rivera, who thought that her paintings were bold, bright and beautiful. He fell in love with her paintings and he fell in love with Frida. And in 1929, they were married and they traveled the world together. I would love to say that they lived happily ever after, but sadly, that's not true. They would divorce and then they would remarry a year later to each other. And also the pain of Frida's injuries would continue to torment her, weakening her body. She would end up having 30 surgical operations during her lifetime. Feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? the ever-determined Frida continued to travel. She toured her work internationally in the 1940s, and in 1953, she held her first major solo exhibition in Mexico. She was ill at the time, but insisted on being carried to the opening on her bed. Frida's health worsened and her leg was amputated, but she would not be made to feel embarrassed about her disability. She would wear a red velvet boot and bells on her artificial leg. Frida died in 1954 and her home was made into the Frida Kahlo Museum and it contains some of her original artwork. In 1985, the Mexican government declared that Frida Kahlo's paintings were national treasures making her one of the greatest Mexican artists in history. Join me in my next video where I will have a go at creating my own self-portrait, using bright and bold colours like Frida and making my own colourful flowers. See you next time.